Hey what's up guys, this is Akshay and today we have with us Android 7.1.1 Nougat based USB extended ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 2 with the download links in the video description. So in this video we will do a quick review of this ROM on the tech show. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey what's up guys, let's do a quick pros and cons review of this ROM. So you can see the Google now on the left, the new app drawer, and now you have quick access feature on certain apps. So this is supported to certain apps, uh, certain Google apps and certain stock apps, you can directly access. This is something like uh, the force touch on the iPhone, so it's kind of copy, uh, but this is the Android Serpent one feature. So you can see Google apps have this feature uh, and some certain apps. So app support uh, is to be done, but it's a new Android version, so that's acceptable to be low apps. So let's go to the settings. And you can see the new settings layout, which is pretty cool about the phone. And here you can see the Android 7.1.1 Nougat with the school and logo. And this is a new uh, quick access and settings too. Well, apps work flawlessly, so there's no problem in apps and system performance. It's blazing smooth. The battery life is just phenomenal with a one day battery life. On stock Android, it's kind of difficult to get the best battery life, but this ROM has cool battery life. And this is some stock apps which is pre installed. This is the File Explorer because you know that the File Explorer in Android is hidden in the settings. So, this is a cool feature to be included in this ROM by the developer. Well, you have also the Substrate Theme Engine, so it brings some theme features into your stock Android like OnePlus has. So, of course, it requires root access, but it has great features when you can change the boot animation. But while it's also in MIUI, but still in stock, it's great. So, it requires root access. And this ROM is pre rooted. Now, let's look uh, at the multi feature, multi window feature. So, this is a cool website. You can try it out. Let's open two apps. Now, go to recent and drag one to the upper side. And now, you can see the multi window feature. And it's a run to, it runs flawlessly with no problem. Even double tap to wake feature is present. I don't know why MIUI doesn't have that feature. Even double tap to camera is also present, which have in pixel found. And of course, Samsung found. My camera works flawlessly, it uh, records in 1080p, but the audio output is very low. I mean, very, seriously, very low. While even you can shoot in 1080p, but there's no 4K, sadly. Of course, we don't expect 4K from this phone. You can see the audio quality and video quality in the settings. Even there uh, is features like you can quickly reply from the notification panel. Now, of course, app should support this. For example, we tried in Twitter, it didn't work. Now, let's try in Telegram. And you can see directly we can reply from the notifications. So, click on reply, type your sentence, and send your message without leaving your notification or without going to the app itself. And then there's a serious bug of mobile data. So of course, when you turn on the mobile on Wi-Fi and turn on the mobile data, it doesn't works because uh, this is a LTE connection. And when the LTE is not connected, your internet is probably couldn't work. So you can see you're offline. Even I turned off my mobile, uh, turn on my mobile data and turn off the Wi-Fi, it doesn't works. So for this, you need to try some tweaks like turning on and off the mobile data, or going to settings, going to SIM cards. And resetting the APN. For example, we are going to settings now, cellular networks, and now you can see try tweaking from LTE to CDMA, from CDMA to LTE. Sometimes it connects. 
but if not then you need to go to access point names and reset your EPN settings so that it could connect to again to LTE network now this is a nightmare if you want to browse quickly you can see LTE sign is connected and now integer should work flawlessly while VoLTE doesn't work on strong sadly again our website and it should work flawlessly as we discussed VoLTE doesn't work so you need to install the GeoWise app to make calls otherwise the call would be ended Well, this ROM is quick, it's fast, it's fluid, it's highly recommended. Now, another f the bug is that when you try capturing screenshots and sending in other apps like WhatsApp, you will get this error. So you can't share screenshot, but this can't be solved with installing another screenshot app and it would work. So of course everything works flawlessly. Well, there are some serious bugs. So this room is not recommended for everyone, but only recommended who want to tweak their phone or it's your secondary phone. And this is highly recommended ROM to try out the latest version of Android. Now you can even go to recovery from directly from the UI itself. So reach out to recovery and you'll be treated with your sweet recovery. So in my case, it's TWRP recovery. The reason I'm doing this is to show a serious bug. So ensure to take backup always because anything can happen with this ROM anytime around because it has root access and if you do something wrong with it, you are in trouble. So you can see that this new Google boot animation, which is pretty cool. So you have booted successfully. Now there is a serious bug. It randomly reboots if it's not connected to the LTE network. So see it's not connected to LTE network. Now it will lag and it will reboot. Pretty damn bug. And this sometimes happens continuously. It's kind of nightmare. So of course there's some pros and cons on this ROM. So we have booted again and now it should connect to LTE network. So sadly it's not connected still. My Wi-Fi works flawlessly. See now, LT connected. So sometimes with turning on and off makes it work. The new setting layout is cool. And you can see the developer date. Thanks to him for this awesome job and awesome work. So this ROM is for someone who has a secondary Redmi 2, uh, who can play it with around, or especially using for media stuff to getting some latest Android features. Well, as a primary phone, it's hardly recommended, but you can do the same. It doesn't work for me because the camera audio quality is very low. So probably I'm a video producer, so it's a nightmare for me. And this random reboots and network issues are just disgusting. So this is a part 2 of this video. I never thought I will shoot this but when I make this video at the same day I got mail from XTA forum that your thread has been updated by the developer and the developer included that there is version 2 of the shop that is available with some certain great features like Google Assistant built in and now with OTA support. So currently, the, the, the when I shoot this video, it was in version 1, 
and it doesn't support OTA. So actually, the reason I didn't shoot the all video together because it's completely same ROM, and I was not sure whether this ROM will work because it's entire new ROM to be downloaded and flashed, so all your data would be erased. But of course, if you are seeing this video and if you are trying this ROM, so probably you would download the version 3 point of this ROM. And the best thing is they have included about us feature, which clearly tells who they are and they're pretty great guys. So I have joined them with Telegram. And I can tell them bugs and they can clear me up for me. And they have really worked hard and solved the bugs in this ROM. And you can see there is a directly update feature, likely OTA feature on this ROM. So probably if the next version releases of Android, you, you can get on this ROM. And of course, bug fixes. So now many bugs are the fixes in, on ROM. So now VoLTE works flawlessly. Let's try calling with VoLTE. So no Geo4G voice app required anymore. You can see calling via Geo4G. So VoLTE works flawlessly now. And even screenshot works now. So now you can share screenshot directly. Now let's like have a look at Google Assistant. What's the weather like today? It'll be clear with clouds from time to time, with a forecasted high of 31 and a low of 21. It's 31 with smoke. Sing the song. La 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 la. It's pretty freaking cool. Well, the rest of the ROM is completely same with great performance. So my outcome remains the same. So this ROM is for someone who has a second way me found and you can try out this great feature. You can probably install this. Even this is not now bad for daily driver. So you can use it as an alternative phone or even your daily primary driver if you don't have the problem uh, with the low audio output in the camera. I mean, while recording, the audio is very low. That is not solved yet. But now sharing works perfectly. Screenshot works perfectly. What he works. Only there is another problem now, the data disconnects after some time. I don't know why this is happening, but if you turn on the data, it will work flawlessly and then it disconnects. So that's pretty much for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did like it, then hit that like button or even consider supporting us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye now.